Hey, what's up, you guys? So, my hair is looking crazy today. So, we're going to just swing it really quick. I am going to show you guys how to actually use a heat press the very simple way. So, comment below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Sometimes people um, complicate things and make it difficult. So, let's get into it. Um, I'm using Jolie as the um, transfer paper that I'm using today. It's for inkjet um, printers. These, um, those printers are very um, cost efficient when starting your own t-shirt business. So um, I already printed out my logo and as you can see, pretty neat, right? So um, with inkjet papers and printers, you have to cut out your design so that way it doesn't leave it a lot of white um it's kind of just the difference between a laser print and a inkjet printer okay so i cut out as much white as i could um i'm not that artistic thing today plus in um, art class back in the day but i did as much as i could so the thing with these um inkjet transfers the difference is you pull the tab so there's no mirroring your picture when you um you know print it out on the computer uh the signs with like lasers you have to mirror it so that way when you lay it on because you're pointing face down with um laser paper but with this you're simply just sweeping it up so give me a second trying to Okay, so as you see, you peel it. And then you're actually gonna apply this face. So we have our shirt. You wanna lay down the actual shirt on here and you wanna press it. You wanna pre-press to get any, you know, excess of moisture out of the shirt that could prevent it from sticking. So you wanna sit it down for like just a few seconds. And let me actually show you guys. So as you see, it looks a little bit more straight in. And then we're going to apply. So um, making sure placement is key for a lot of things. You wanna make sure your placement is always where it is. So this is where you get your parchment paper and you can get this from off Amazon. And you can also cut it and you can do a lot um, just so in case you wanna save more. And we're gonna have our timer set. Now your heat, you wanna make sure as well as you're getting everything. Now, you're, my heat is set at 375 and my timer's on 80 seconds, but I only really do 15 to stick. But with here, we're gonna come down to 15, we're gonna get down at 65, and then we're gonna lift it up to see how it looks. Just to make sure everything is, you know, where it's supposed to be. I also like to press. Um, very lightly down on it just for a few seconds um you could count to five and just give it that extra press down and now you know you have your shirt you see a little steam coming off but let's I see a simple shirt um if you guys are starting any businesses you know get into it this is very cost efficient and a good way to promote a company so there you go hope you guys well, I hope you guys learned just a little thing or two about everything. Oh, as far as with, let me show you. So this shirt I actually made with a heat press um, as well using a laser printer. Um, this is kind of like a test shirt. I did because as you can see, it was messed up. So I just kind of laser printed some things on And let me know what you guys need help in next that I can help you out tutorial wise or anything new that you want to see.